The ability to create your own fully customized banks of switches is what makes Morningstar MIDI controllers so popular. Every switch can perform whatever you need it to, and every bank can be perfectly tailored to suit your requirements for any situation. You could be tracking in the studio, controlling a DAW for a live performance, or slamming it out at a gritty gig, and your Morningstar controller can evolve to offer you control over whatever you need. But because your Morningstar MIDI controller can be used in so many different situations and gigs, you might find yourself wondering, what's the most effective and efficient way to manage all your banks and presets so that your controller can be exactly what you need when you need it? The Morningstar Setlist Manager was designed to let you create and save different setlists offline and be able to load them to your controller whenever you need. This works for all MIDI controllers in our current lineup, including the MC3, 6, and 8. Here I have three different MC6 Pro backups saved on my computer, and right now we are going to create a new setlist using banks from all three different backups. As you can see here, I have different dates on each of the backup files as they each were created at three different points in time. The first thing I'm going to do is break up each of my backup files into individual bank files. This will allow us to pick and choose which banks we want from each backup to include in our new setlist. To do this, first open the setlist manager, which is accessible from the Morningstar editor page. Then select the device you are using. In this case, we have the MC6 Pro, so let's select that. To convert an entire controller backup to individual bank files, just load it into the setlist manager and click on save as individual bank files. A zip file will be downloaded and unzipping it will reveal all the individual bank files. Let's go ahead and do that for backups 2 and 3 as well. Now we have three different backup folders, each containing their respective bank files. We are now ready to drag and drop the banks we want into the setlist manager to create our new setlist. Click on clear to start afresh then drag your desired banks into the setlist manager window. The bank that starts wiggling is the bank that will be replaced by the incoming bank. If you want a more compact view, you can click on hide bank details. And if you want to see the presets contained within each bank, you can click on show bank details to open them up. You can drag and drop banks within the setlist manager to arrange them in the order that is best for your set. You can also drag and drop switch presets within each bank to rearrange them if you need. When you're done putting together your first setlist, click on Save as Backup File, and you now have your first setlist. Loading your setlist into your controller is simple too. On the Morningstar Editor, click on the Controller Backup tab followed by Choose File. Select your desired backup file and click on Upload to confirm. Do note that this will overwrite the current state of your controller. So if you want to save your controller's current state, perform a controller backup first before uploading your new setlist. In addition, the setlist manager is a great way for you to store and organize your presets beyond the storage capacity of your controller. You can store as many banks and presets as you want offline and upload them to your controller in your desired arrangement anytime you need. I hope you've learned something new and useful from this video. We've got some interesting content lined up for you, so do subscribe and like if music and MIDI control is your kind of jam. I'll catch you in the next one.